Hello everyone! Welcome into my video. So today I am touching on the seven steps of alchemy and the first step that I will be talking about is calcination, which is uh, the breaking down of matter and burning to white hot ash. Now um, this is a two-part process and begins with the pestle and the mortar. And the pestle and the mortar are the representation of the female and the male aspects to life. And this breaking down of the matter um, is what alchemists would do with the cinnabar stone and break it down into pestle and mortar and then light it on fire and burn it down to white hot ash. Now, this is, this is the element of fire, the first step in alchemy. And um, we also have this representation within our root chakra at the base of our spine where our kundalini is coiled up. And this is the color red in representation of that fire, that passion, those animal instincts, our root chakra being the energy center of our fears, our desires, our animal instincts. And um, this is where we start to get in touch with um, the energy centers within our body is our root. And so calcination represents this breaking down and burning process in um, not only a, a scientific way, but also in a spiritual way, in a metaphysical way. And so we can look at this from many different perspectives. So at uh, our root chakra, at the base of our spine, our desires and our fears and our, and our animal instincts is where we begin with our fear and our passion and our survival. Their survival instincts um, reside here. And so when we dive into this, we can also look at the duality of our lives in being the light and the shadow parts of who we are. And this is where we first begin that integration process. So fire is the first step in the alchemical process of transforming lead into gold. And the lead in our lives is the fear and the anxiety and the negative thoughts and the subconscious that has stored ancestral trauma and, and our DNA and different types of negative ways of thinking that have been ingrained within us that hold us back from being who we really are and staying, you know, stuck in our lives in certain ways of feeling and thinking. Now, the lead in my life was heavy and I felt like a ton of bricks and I would carry these bricks around everywhere I went making it more and more difficult upon myself, creating more lessons for myself, which inevitably did serve me. But once I realized that my attachment to this pain and this fear kept me from living a life of empowerment, I realized I had no other choice other than to put it down at some point or transform it. So what I decided to do was transform that pain into power. And this is what alchemy is. This is what spiritual and metaphysical alchemy is, is changing ourselves and our thought forms. And this inevitably changes, uh, you know, the grooves and synapses in our brain so that we can think and feel differently. And we don't have to get stuck in those old tapes, those old ways of thinking. We can reframe for ourselves our own thoughts. And so the choices, you know, the choice uh, of empowerment is a choice. It is, is a choice that we make inside of ourselves um, to let go of what doesn't serve. And often um, we make our choices sometimes when we've been, you know, through trauma or anxiety or difficult things in our lives. We make our choices based on, you know, past experiences of fear and pain and, and and residual trauma but in order to make that choice you know and make our choices from a sovereign place um, you know I realized we had to really look fear in the face I had to sit down and look fear in the face and that's what we have to do within all of us we all have to at some point in life face fear and instead of running from it um, I became friends with my fear and I decided to um, sit with my fear and say okay this is what I'm afraid of, instead of running away from that. And so, you know, by allowing fear to be my friend, I changed my relationship with it, right? <laughs> Literally. 
And so I recognize fear for what it is, and I have a deeper opportunity now to pay attention to different things in my life instead of allowing fear to make me shy away or run away from um, things that are difficult. So allowing fear and anxiety show us what needs to be broken down in our lives and transformed into, into new energy is where we begin. <laughs> we begin at the base of our spine. And we begin in, at starting at, at our root and facing our fear and looking at what our fears are and what our desires really are. And so how can we achieve our true desires and dreams in life if we are allowing that fear to hold us back? And this is the duality of life that we have to integrate. This is our light. This is our shadow. And here we are. This is the beginning. This is the first step of the alchemical process of transforming pain to power. Now, as we begin this process of alchemy and breaking down what does not serve the way that even bodybuilders break down muscle to rebuild it up, we are doing that for ourselves. We're breaking down what does not serve us well in our lives. And what creates more struggle for ourselves? How are we making it more difficult for our lives and our life path by repeating the same patterns over and over or thought forms or negative ways of thinking, right? Or relating to our own pain. So um, this is my take on the calcination process and um, I always think of the way that, you know, alchemists would take the cinnabar and, and, and break it down into pestle and mortar and to extract uh, the lead, the mercury from the stone and, and then light this, this substance on fire that was broken down into the pestle and mortar. Um, and I think of that as like the cauldron, the great cauldron that we, that we stir up in our lives you know and so in the beginning of this journey this is about stirring up the root and finding out what it is that we are really made of what are we afraid of and and being able to look that fear in the face and look at our ego versus our true self really that's what it is and so by allowing what has crushed us and broken us down in life to be transformed to be transmuted we break down these pieces, you know, into different ways. We can write them down. We can physically break down something and, and light it on fire. <laughs> or we can do this in a visual sense and um, do it within our minds, in, it, in the ethereal fire that we all have within us. And so it's about the intention that we set to change and to allow the fires of alchemy to change our thoughts and to change our fears from pain to power. And this is the intention. And the intention is by is through the fire. And so this is the first step of alchemy, and that is calcination. So that's my little tidbit, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.